In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a curved surface like this. Okay, so as usual, we'll just come here, right click and delete our cube. Now, what I want us to do is just press Shift A. We're going to add in a plane. So come to Mesh and come to Plane. Now click the back tick sign on your keyboard. It's close to the number one, close to the skip button on the top left of your keyboard. Look at it on the top left of your keyboard. You see it over there. So um, yeah, we have this plane. Let's go to edit mode, come to object mode, edit. Now press W on your keypad to bring up the vertex context menu. Then come to subdivide. Now come to the little menu over here at the bottom click it to bring up this um, little menu and then in the number of cards type in 10 so it's going to create 10 new faces so you see 10 new faces are created over there you can just drop down this menu and then scroll into zoom now what i want you to do is just pick this right this um this face or this geometry right in the center here where the cursor is so first come to select mode, pick face select. Then now you can come in and then right click this. So now if I just click the middle of my, my mouse button and come up here like this. Good, so now you, so that if I do the curve it's a bit more visible. So what will come now is come to the top right section over here to proportional editing. So now what happens is that this allows us to influence a region around the area we've selected to a certain degree. So this is what I mean. Let's press G. Now press Z to constrain to the Z axis. And if I pull it up, you see what happens. If I screw my mouse wheel down, it affects more area. It affects the area around the face. If I screw it in, it affects just this area. Okay. So that's how you can basically create that. And you can, you know, pull it up, shrink it out down a bit this way. Yeah. Uh, let's so I think something like this will be fine. Yeah, something like this will be fine. Yeah. All right, I think that works. Yeah, so you can just if, if you're not happy with it, you know, you can just come back in here top view, you know, select that face and then change it. G, Z, change it as much as you want, you know. Yeah, so that's basically it. That's how you create a surface. One last thing, come back to object mode here. You can still do it. Uh, so just, just press W. So you can see there's a bit of lines running through, you know, lines running through. Just press W and then pick shade smooth. And now it's smooth. It has a smooth finish to it. If you also want to rotate, you can just right, um, right click it. Press R to bring up rotate. Press X to constrain it on the X axis. You can type in 90. And now it's sort of standing this way. All right. Now what you can also do is with still in object mode selected, with the whole thing selected, a whole object selected, press S and then Y. So now you can, you know, even bring it out a bit more or bring it out less depending on how you want it. You know, really bulge it out a bit more. I just let me bring it down a little bit this way. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, so that's basically how you can create a curved surface in Blender. Hope it was helpful. Thank you.